Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to construct an enthalpy cycle using standard enthalpy changes of combustion. In previous videos we've looked at Hess's law. Hess's law states that if a reaction can be carried out by two different pathways, then the total enthalpy change for these two pathways will be the same, provided that the starting and final conditions are the same for both pathways. And in the last two videos, we looked at how to construct an enthalpy cycle using standard enthalpy change of formation data. If you haven't watched those two videos, then I'd recommend that you watch them now. In this video, we're going to be looking at constructing an enthalpy cycle using standard enthalpy change of combustion data. I'm showing you here the equation for the formation of the compound ethane from the elements carbon and hydrogen. The enthalpy change for this reaction is called the standard enthalpy change of formation. Remember that the standard enthalpy change of formation is the enthalpy change when one mole of a compound is formed from its elements under standard conditions and all of the chemicals must be in their standard states. Now measuring the standard enthalpy change of formation can be difficult, so instead we determine it using an enthalpy cycle. The key idea you need to understand is that we can combust all of the reactants and products in this equation, and I'm showing you that here. And I should point out that in all of these cases, we're carrying out complete combustion in the presence of oxygen. However, we don't need to show the oxygen in the enthalpy cycle. Measuring the standard enthalpy change of combustion is straightforward, and I'm showing you those values in the table. Now, you need to remember that in enthalpy cycles like this, when we use standard enthalpy change of combustion data, the arrows point down. OK, so we're going to use these values to determine the standard enthalpy change of formation of ethane. First, we need to write in the standard enthalpy changes of combustion, but remember to take into account the number of moles reacting. The standard enthalpy change of combustion of carbon is minus 394 kilojoules per mole. However, we've got two moles of carbon in the reaction, so we need to multiply this by two, and here it is. The standard enthalpy change of combustion of hydrogen is minus 286 kilojoules per mole. We have three moles of hydrogen in the reaction, so we need to multiply this number by three, and I'm showing you that here. Finally, the standard enthalpy change of combustion of ethane is minus 1,561 kilojoules per mole. Next, we need to consider the direction of the arrows. We want to go from the reactants to the products, in other words, the direction I'm showing you here. However, as you can see, the right-hand white arrow is pointing in the wrong direction. This means that when we do the calculation, we need to reverse the sign for the standard enthalpy change of combustion of ethane. OK, the total standard enthalpy change of combustion on the left-hand side is minus 1,646 kilojoules. On the right-hand side, we need to reverse the sign giving us a value of plus 1,561 kilojoules per mole. To calculate the standard enthalpy change of formation of ethane, we simply need to add the number from the left and right hand sides. This gives us a value of minus 85 kilojoules per mole. In the next video, I'll give you a question to try yourself. 